I'm gonna wait to stream because my phone had a charge, but I promise once like we're through Halloween week, I'll actually be on time. It's just hard right now. It's just hard right now. Um, okay, let me tweet. Um, sure. And then blue sky. There we go. All right. Whatever. Um. I don't care about Twitch drops. Go away. Okay. Um, all good. All good. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, wow, Twitch drop thing shows up everywhere. It shows up in your little chat in, um, on your, uh, dashboard. It shows up when you pull up your chat on your phone. It shows up in OBS. They, like, really want you to know about this, um, Twitch drops business. I don't even care. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what we're talking about, but I don't want it. That's all I know, because I don't want it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Amanda the Adventure 2 tonight. Um, I'm not even going to pull up Halloween week anymore, because <laughs> the schedule has so changed, but we're definitely streaming every night. Um, you know, that much, that much I can, I can do. Um, but I'm like, I am getting a bit uh, a bit worn out a bit worn out oh man I, I tweeted this but last night um when I got back on uh to check out my export um over to YouTube and uh I got on Twitch and I looked and I noticed I had like a note actually no I noticed on my phone because I was pulling up someone's stream and um I noticed I had a notification I'm like oh what is this what notification do I have um was I gifted a sub to a channel or something who knows and i go on and i look and um it uh it was the like achievement for streaming 25 days out of the past 30 which is insane i i always saw that one and i'm like okay well we're never gonna get that one because that's for crazy people <laughs> who would stream for 25 days out of the month that's definitely not me I wouldn't do that. I can't do that. That's so much streaming. Um, I was like, maybe like, maybe 20 on, on if, if, if I try real hard, I would never get that high. So like, I never even was like, cause like really for the achievements, a lot of them are, um, you know, having a certain number, hmm, certain number of, well, do they even have certain number of followers or is it all, let me check. I kind of forget now as well. Analytics achievement. Um, they have average viewers. I know there's a lot for average viewers. Oh, no, they do have, have followers. 200 followers is the next uh, achievement. Um, but then the others are like average, like 10 average viewers. Um, and uh, and like those like number of followers and average viewers, like honestly, I mean, it's cool that they have them here, but they're not very good um like mentally for streamers right because you have no control over that you have no control over how many followers like it'd be nice to have that goal um and that can be a goal for different things but you don't really have control over how many followers you have or where your average viewers are um but you do have the ones i like is how often how many days you stream and then the total amount of hours you stream like those are the good ones because that's what you have control over right um i don't think Mm. Uh, yeah, mostly, like, I think it's pretty much just follower counts, average viewers, and, uh, days streamed, and then hours, like, how many days out of the month, and then hours streamed total. Um, but, uh, so yeah. But um, I was like, you know, it's like obviously a total number of hours. Like that one you can get. You might not be able to get it by a certain time. But, you know, you're like, I can definitely get it in total, right? Like I can definitely get it at some point. Um, you know, and I myself can put a time frame on it. If I say I want to hit this one by the end of the year or something, you know, I, I could do that. 
Um, and that's why they're healthy ones, right? Because I have control over it. So I could, you know, I have direct actions I can take to achieve that goal, right? Those are good goals. Um, action steps and stuff, right? But uh, the number of followers and average viewers, those are kind of lame because you don't really have much control over that. Uh, and you do kind of in like a domino effect kind of way, but that can be kind of mentally unhealthy to chase that sort of stuff. Um, sorry. Um, but, uh, oh, or also not just average viewers, but how many viewers you have at the same time. Um, but, uh, I was going to say, but yeah, but the number of days, 25 unique days in the last 30, I was like, there's no way, there's no way I could ever get that. But I did. But I did. Um, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's all. I don't know. A long rant for absolutely thing, really nothing. Oh my gosh, Twitch drops again. Go away. Okay. Um, so yeah. So Amanda the Adventurer 2 tonight. I never played the first one, but I saw so many people play it that I practically have, right? Like I know all the answers to all of the puzzles and everything already, so I cannot play it. Uh, but that's why I have not been watching um anyone else play right uh the, or I mean, the adventure too because i i want i mean I've, I've seen the the demo right i've seen everyone also play the demo but i haven't seen anyone play the game here in this past week so um i'm hoping that that'll you know kind of keep it keep it clean for me keep it keep it pure <laughs> Um, and, uh, I'm not spoiled or anything by anything, so, so it should be, should be fine. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, but I never played the first one, so this is still in some ways a new experience for me because I don't have any experience in playing these games, right? Like, this is kind of, yeah, it's just, it's just new. Let me turn my phone brightness down. It feels too bright. Um, because, you know, watching people play games is different than playing them yourself. And, um... You know, so, like, um, I think playing it myself again will, you know, be, 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 a, yeah, it, it, in, so, in some ways it, it's still new. Um, I mean, obviously this version of the game is still new, but, <laughs> or this particular game, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm tired. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, yeah, Man of the Adventure 2 tonight. Tomorrow, I'm not sure, I'm thinking we might do Phasmophobia tomorrow. Uh, because I have seen more people talking about it again, but that's just mostly because it's on other consoles now. Um, I'm not, no one really seems to care that it's the full release for PC. Uh, but I tried to look up, I think it was a Game Rant article, uh, to see what was new for the full release. And there are new things, at least according to what apparently their, uh, development timeline was. Like, apparently the studio was pretty, um, good about uh sharing what you know they wanted to implement and everything and all the different steps and uh there were things on there that i haven't played with yet i think so um there should should be new stuff um and even then i haven't played in hmm, a year maybe so um you know there will de definitely be Something new, I'm sure. Hopefully. Um, but maybe we'll try it? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I might not really be in a asthma mood, but, but, um, you know, but it, is, it would be a smart thing to play. And also, because, you know, I'm kind of missing all these other releases, you know, because they're, they're tricking me by releasing at weird times. We're being cooler. Like, I saw some really cool mouthwashing fan art, um, on Twitter today. And I'm like, man, I, because I haven't been like watching it. Everyone's been playing. It. I haven't been watching because, because, um, like, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be spoiled. I do want to play it myself. And I saw it when, um, I think it was when I finished, remember the, the really short stream, um, for Life is Strange before it wasn't a short stream in total, but, um, Life is Strange before the storm. Uh, we finished it in like, an hour or something um once we started like we apparently had been at the end of the game all along and so we were i was like wow what do i do the rest of the stream and i think i pulled oh that was um find yourself and uh what else did i play i played another game that was kind of oh um 
I was like, another game that's kind of meh. Fears to Fathom Home Alone. <laughs> um, and that's what I played that day. But I had been browsing Steam once we finished Life is Strange, and I was like, mm, mouthwashing, what is this? But I don't think it was out yet. I think it came out that weekend, maybe, or something? Um, and I was like, oh, okay. And I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll play this one later, though. We'll, we'll put it I think I saw Moving Houses at the same time, too. Um, and Groon, maybe? Um, and I was, like, looking through those, and, and I don't think... I don't know which one of those was out and which ones weren't. But, uh, I remember mouthwashing wasn't, and so I, like, didn't, um... Didn't play it, obviously. But I didn't even budget a space for it, because I was a little... I don't know. I was a little iffy on it, right? I was a little unsure. But apparently it's... I mean, if... I'm seeing fan art for it. Like, that's gotta be good, right? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying I want to play that this week, because I don't know if I really... I don't know. Something about it just kind of puts me off. I don't know. I think it's just all, like, redness. Like, you go you go to the, um, the Steam page, and it's just, like, red. All the scenes are red. Everything's red. Every the, in the, the, the cover image is red, and, and it's just... It feels... I don't know. I don't really like my horror to be red. You know, I like my horror to be black, blue, purple sort of horror. Or even green. You know, those those are the colors I like. Red, like I get, is like definitely a horror color. But um, it's not really my type of horror, if that makes sense. So I don't know. It's, it's weird to be put off by the color. I know, I should just not, not let that get to me. But, um, but yeah, so I don't know. Um... I need to play that sometime, but tomorrow we're probably just going to do Phasmophobia. Probably. But maybe something else. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, I am I need to kind of think through carefully. Um, I just, I don't know. Phasmophobia, I hope there's new stuff. Because, like, it's one of those games where, you know, it clearly is better to play with other people right and like you know i'm just i'm just playing solo i'm just stuck playing by myself um and uh you know so i um it feels you know it's, i play i've played a lot of phasmophobia streams already and um you know it gets a little uh a little repetitive after a while when you're just going in by yourself doing the stuff you know, and then leaving or dying or what the case might be. Um, so, you know, it kind of, it ruins a replayability, I think, because there's less variation in what happens, right? Um, but, uh, but yeah, but maybe they have, um, you know, new content. So with the, with the full release, I mean, I, I imagine they would, but that's not what any, everyone, everyone's just like, that was console, console, console. And it's like, that's nice. But what about PC? It's also the PC full release. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's get into a Manatee Adventure. Let's go. Endless music. We don't need that. Um. And Manatee Adventure here. <laughs> I feel a little bit better today, but I'm still kind of like, kind of tired. Still didn't sleep super great because I was just in such a like crummy mood that like I was like I don't want to go to sleep. Yeah, because I have I have this bad thing where I don't like I don't like sleeping first off, <laughs> so that doesn't help. Um, got a Steam notification that Escape the Backrooms is on sale. I haven't played that. <laughs> Maybe Steve's trying to tell me something. Um, but uh, um, what was I gonna say? Sorry, I need to switch this over. Um. Yeah, I'm in a better mood. Last night, I, I don't really like sleeping very much, and so, like, anytime I have an excuse not to sleep, my brain's like, I said this before, my brain will take it. And if I'm in a bad mood, um, my brain is, like, gonna be like, we can't, we can't go to sleep while you're in a bad mood. We have to stay up until you can be in a good mood. <laughs> That's not gonna happen sometimes. Um, um, ooh, what is, what is this resolution going on I have? Okay, hold on going on I have I have going on she's in my Yoda okay okay here we go um but uh um I'm thinking, uh, brain I'm tired I'm tired 
Um, but yeah, so I didn't get as much sleep. Like, I got five hours of sleep, but I haven't been doing the you know, sleeping good, really, for a, for a while here, so... Like, again, I, I want tonight, I want to hopefully go to bed for enough time to, like, you know, wake up around six or so and, like, you know, have a good start to my day. That's what I want. That's all I want. Um, not all I want, that's why. But that's a thing that I would want, and it's probably good for me. Or <laughs> something. Okay, let's play the game. Options. Um, subtitles. Yes, please. On. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Developer's choice, why not? Hmm. 60, good, good. Quality? I mean, this game isn't gonna be too intense, right? Like, probably? I probably don't need to lower the quality. How, how bad could it be? How bad could it be? What is in Oh, okay. No. Alright, um... We can change- I feel like the mouse sensitivity is fine, really. You're Riley, aren't you? Kate and I were really close. She talked about you so much. She... She was really proud of you. I guess you've seen some of what she was working on. I think this Come volume on. is fine, maybe. We should get out of here. I know a place you can rest a while, and then let's talk. Hmm. With the plot happening. Hold on a second. I feel like I'm up a little bit too high. Hey. I want to be down. Hope you got a little sleep. Oops, nope. You know, I was thinking, we should head over to the oops, library. Oops, oops. You can tell me what happened on the way. There we go. Okay. God, that's terrifying. <laughs> I really hope we find some answers in Kate's office. The Kensdale Public Library. Hmm. Come on, let's move. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier. Okay, it's interesting that we're all cartoony here. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Let's see if your aunt's key ring delivers. Because we just, we weren't when we just met this person. But now we are. And so now I'm a, I'm a little... Hmm. It's fine. It just feels weird to change the art style like that. Um, But, uh, but yeah. So I've heard... Listen, like I said, the the Steam page something says there. mixed review, it's right? Or, or mixed, tapes, and it's um, very, very. People aren't dangerous. super thrilled with it. Please be careful. So I'm not so sure. I'm also not sure how long it is. I know um, this is going to I super swear, annoyed. I swear. Last week, everything time to happened, beat said it was like four hours long. We can connect on an encrypted channel with these. But you go see what you can find in Kate's office. Like I'll keep watch outside. I'll call you yeah, on the two if anything comes up. Of course, up. you just keep watch. Make me do the hard work. Um, but, uh, I've, I've, when I looked up on time to be today, it's a two and a half hours. And I'm like, I don't know. Last week, you said, okay, mouse, the sensitivity is a little high. Um, but last week, it said, um, Mm, well, still a little high. It's like I did nothing. Did save, right? Yeah. Maybe down 25? Yeah, I guess this is fine. Actually, no. Mouse sensitivity is such a, like... 30. Such a tricky thing, because you really want to be comfortable, but... Okay. Hi. I'm Wendy Worm, your own personal assistant. Scan a book using the scanner to look up its checkout history. That's nice. Okay. I've already seen this puzzle, but I don't remember it. 
kind of confused me. Where's the scanner? Oh, right here. Boop. Jonathan Pratt, Evelyn Phantom Sloth, Taylor Finstock, okay. JP, Jonathan Pratt. Oh, here's instructions or something. These are instructions. Found an odd tape in book return. I haven't looked into it myself, but I was hoping you could take a look at it when you can. It's in the locked cabinet. You remember the code, right? Also, you might need to take a look at some of the books. I've been told some of them have been tampered with. I swear this is like the fifth one this week. I had put them aside for you, but I think the new guy accidentally put them back into the library without looking. I hate to ask, but if you got a moment, could you look around the library and see if you can find them? There should be a history of these books in the library database, so use that to help you out in finding them. Don't stay up too late. Have a good night, Sophie. Okay. Written to Margaret. So there's... Um... Odd tape and book returns. Um, look around the library to find them. She can see these books in the library database. That should help you. Okay. History of these books. What do you mean a history of these books? unhelpful um hmm. he also got this is a pineapple and the homecoming jogger enters the fastest person in the world let's check that okay so then this is a pineapple how do i find it This is so S. Oh, look, it's Wooly. Wooly's got tape. Um, what did I click on here? Mm, okay. This is a clue. There's some books here too. We'll come back to these. Should probably scan this one first. Oh, a lot of people. Do this one. Okay. Oh, this is, this is a pineapple. Okay. Jonathan Pratt. Number five. This was one, five. Hmm. Okay. Okay. There's another book back on this cart over here. Yeah. Well, it has nothing in it. It's probably not useful then. Frank Peabody. Frank Peabody had another. Eh. Let's stop it right here for now. Fine. Okay. Um, Frank Peabody in this one. On, clarity. E. So either Chase or Carson Emerson. So one of the Emersons. Frank Peabody, check this one out too. Let's 
So we need... Okay. Oh, so the number in JP is first, right? So this one? Five? Is that it? And then MA. Oh, hey, Red Savage. Welcome, welcome. So, five. And then, is this one MA? No. These are have CEs. Who is it? No, 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 no. I, this one tells us the next person to look up. Michael Arcati. Okay. Um, so, five. And then Michael Arcati, Michael Arcati. No one checked that book out. Where are the books? Oh, here. Oh, there's no one. There's no... also a distractor book okay um hmm doesn't seem to be useful ah is this the one michael arcadi checked out what Okay, so they're not going to tell us this one. This one. But we only needed four. Or no, so there's one more book out here we need. Okay. Is it right here? Oh, it just says the last number's three. Okay. So... Five. One. Zero. This leads us to DS. Is there a DS who checked out this book? Belly shovel. Okay. CE. What about this one? C yeah, okay. Three. Okay. So it is... This one said M.A. Michael Arcati. Michael Arcati was... Like what book though? Wait, what? Okay, we start with... This is a pineapple. And that takes us to whatever book has M.A. Which was this one? No, this is one we don't know. But it's probably this one. And then that one we don't know. But this one leads us to this one we do know. And it is last. Okay. So it's probably five, zero. Oh yeah, and that one does lead us to this one we do know. So five, zero, one, three. This is a weird five zero one. Yeah? Yay, okay. Thank you for the tape. I need to go watch it somewhere. Oh, the TV. I should probably clean up those books, but I'm not gonna. That puzzle was a lot easier than I thought. I had no no memory of it, Hi, ben. so I was kind of worried. Amanda. But from the demos I saw, have but... you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, we can. Yay! At least in our imaginations, we can. This line hit so sad in the With demo. With my magic train. If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Hmm. Who would I go see if I could visit anyone in the world? Anyone in the world. Hold on. My model's kind of... Oh, I'm leaning back a lot. That's why. 
we'll just change here. We'll lean forward a little bit. Who would I go see if I could see anyone in the world? Um, I don't know. Um, mm, who's a good person to see? Um, uh, I would go see you, Amanda. How about that? Do you really think you could do that? I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have been. Think about all the places we can go. Spooky. Let's plan a Spooky trip. Mr. Bean. <laughs> I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. Hmm. Those are pretty good places. Where's this one down here? This is Mexico City, right? But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? Turn on the lamp. Turn on the lamp. It's fall. We need to keep the curtains closed and pretend. Lamp. That's much better. Yay. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? Probably in the picture with the Eiffel Tower. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a ticket that? to Paris costs two city, points. This is... Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. Hmm. What's the best way to this open one? this piggy bank? Forget. I can pull out the plug, or I can. It looks like a lot of houses I've seen. Um, plug. Ah, uh, you're no fun. It's the responsible thing to do, Amanda. So you can use it in future. <laughs> and I love it when she shakes it, too. I, I remember that from the demo now. That was so cute. Let's count them together. One, One two, two, three, three four, four five. five. I have five coins. That's you do. That's more than enough for our first stop. Oh, maybe we, maybe we should maybe we should plan the whole Can travel. We don't want to get stuck in Paris, you know. One, two, the three. The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Hi, Gretchen. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Um. Mexico City. I'm assuming these are supposed to be Mexico. What is this place, though? Is this... Um... Frog? No, uh... uh at some palace, I think. Our next stop is Mexico City! A ticket to Mexico City on hmm. my magic train costs three coins! Anyway, yeah, see, now we're stranded in Paris. Costs three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three. Oh no, that's all our coins. And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? Hmm. I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? <laughs> Robbery, yeah. We should rob these these guys right here. Um, who will get us the most coins? Ooh. Um, um, I don't know. I think this chicken is quite something. What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? Someone gave this to me when I was feeling I like really his bad. Demonic scared, glowing eyes. And it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. Looks like he's <laughs> Wow, I got three coins from Mr. Rooster. Okay, <laughs> let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? I hate the way she says that. Um, London. We're going to London! 
hate the way the she says that. Also, Jack the Ripper. Man, I only just learned, I think sometime in the past year or two, that there's a um, theory that uh, Degas is Jack the Ripper, which is wild. I, I like, but it, I mean, okay, so it's not that crazy, but it's that it's this thing where people... Um, you know, feel like Jack the Ripper has to be someone we know, but do you know how many people were in London at the time? There's so many people could it be. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be, like, one of the, like, you know, few dozen people that we know from history, right? Like, it's more likely a brand new character, not one we already know. Like, the fact that it would be a famous artist is, like, kind of weird. Anyway. Hmm. It's a shame. Relax, Amanda. I want to go on my trip! Where can I find more coins now? Go hunt that, that jerk down. Do a reverse mugging. Um... There's always all kinds of yeah. stuff in this sofa cushion. Whoa. I'm almost really sad that we um sold okay, our it's time to catch my our train. rooster. <laughs> but I wish I really could go see the world. It's really funny. I love that part. I remember that from the demo too. I love, I love, I love things like that. I don't know why. For some reason, something's kind of sitting there and like moving. I don't, it's hard to explain, but like I like um like seagulls bobbing on the water, right? That's really funny. Um, like when there's like waves happening, right? And they're just sitting there and they're moving, but they're like so like yeah exactly like you know i don't know they're not like perturbed right by the movement of the waves or the same thing of like oh and the little baby baby ducklings or whatever in like a teacup right because it's like how oh, you're in a teacup but you're just kind of like sitting there i love that i i love that thing that stuff um the seagulls get me every time anytime i go like somewhere where there are seagulls that are in like water that is waving around i it's the funniest thing to me. I love it. It's like, it's so funny. It's so funny. And Amanda just sitting there in the train as it's moving around. She's like facing forward. Like it's, uh, it really hits that same spot. <laughs> and I love it. Anyway, um, hate those toys. Okay. Um, now what? move these oh we gotta go on the train okay first we gotta go to Paris then Mexico City and then London okay um oh thanks for uh following uh Felukia is that it Felucia um thank you for the follow okay um yeah hi uh what is green was supposed to be? Is that the finish? Am I crouching this game? Yeah, okay. Hmm. I like to call people by their actual names would be great. Um. Okay. Uh. So. You rotate them with the right button. Is it only after you put it in somewhere? Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I want to go to Paris first. I feel like we don't have enough tracks. Oh, here's a bunch. Okay, how many tracks do we have? Too short. Sorry, it's down here. Well, welcome, welcome. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is this all of them? Yeah. 
Okay, I think we just have eight. All right. Um. Okay. Okay, good enough. Okay. Um. So first, we want to go right. And then we go to Paris. And then we want to go left. So this should probably be like right here because it doesn't need to go any other direction. Like, right, it's just there. Um, what is upgrade to your night? Well, I'm glad it's better than, than doom scrolling, scroll, yeah, doom scrolling on YouTube. Um, hmm. Okay, go here. So do we want to end up here or there? I guess we'll go over there first, I think, because it makes the most sense for the order. I, I feel like at least. Hmm. It's the order she wanted to go in. Um, okay, then we go to Paris and then we're going to go up here to Mexico City. So we need a straight piece if we can. I don't know if we need it for anything else, but and then something goes left. So probably another one that only has an op one option. I go to Mexico City. And then we need to go I guess down here to here, here, over to London, and then up, well, do we have to do these in order? I'm not so sure how to do that. Um, so what if we do this here? And I can take us back up here. Then what do we do up here? Hmm. Where does this one go? We go over here, up here, over here. Um, hmm. I don't really know what that one gets us. These are both just one corner pieces, too. Um, hmm. do we? Well, maybe we end up at this station instead. Oh yeah, we can do that. I don't know how to get to the other one, but. I mean, that's just a mountain over there. I don't know if we want to go over to the mountain. So up here, over here, over here. Okay, well, at least it gets us from one place to another. Choo-choo. Some music. Oh, it's from, from the we go into the stops. Choo choo. Okay, what happens now? Okay, so there must be another tape over there too. I don't know how. Do we have to go with all the stops in order to get to this one, or? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, let's, hold on. We need to keep track of our tapes. Um, there. I don't know how it's gonna, I'm not probably not gonna be able to stack them very, actually, I don't wanna stack them at all. I wanna lay them out. There we go, there's the first one. Oh, maybe over here is a good place to put them. It's probably, I don't know if that's what was intended or not, but... Okay. I 
Maybe you can see what the cape is called. Slenderman. <laughs> Let's start the day. Yay. Without the blanket, because it looks like you like to keep your pillows on top. So far, so good. Now let's fluff those pillows. Okay. She's so cute. That pillow made some weird noises. I don't know how I feel about that. Look how peaceful he is. He doesn't know about anything bad in the world. <laughs> Thanks for helping me. It's nice not to have to do everything by myself. Every morning, I like That's to think true. about what adventure I might want to go on that day. What kind of adventure would you like to go on today? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. he's so happy for. Because he doesn't know about any of the bad things in the world. Oh, he's like Steve. Steve's like recent TikToks. That sounds great. I think I'm going to need my backpack for that one. Hmm, where did I put it? Right there. <laughs> you found it! You're welcome, Amanda. I'm sorry, can I'm we... going to get dressed and I'll look at your clothes again. Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Hmm. My favorite thing to eat for breakfast. I don't know. That's a good question. Um. Mm, uh. Lately. Um, I, I've been eating breakfast really, I've been doing a really good job at it for the past few months. Yogurt and granola, sometimes banana and, um, or sometimes blueberries too. Um, but, uh, oh, did I hit a, some sort of shortcut key again for my model? Um, let me see. Hold on, I have to fix that. I don't know what shortcut it is that has issues. I wish I didn't have them at all. I don't want them. Um, hmm. No. Um. Hold on. Um, how do I? Uh, no, that's not what I want. Sorry. Um. Control A. When did I control A? Okay, it's better now. <laughs> I... Mm. Hmm. Why? I need to play around with this a bit at some point. Um... Okay, we're going to make angry control O. <laughs> because I feel like control A ends up happening too often for some reason. Okay. I think I'm good now. Anyway, breakfast. That's what we were talking about. Um, but I think, I mean, I really like... Um, uh, I like like waffles, but like like good waffles, like Belgian waffles. I like French toast. I like pancakes. I like, so like all of those, you know, like the bready based ones. I like, um, like yogurt's okay. It's actually not really my favorite, but, um, yogurt and granola. Or, well, I like it if it's a certain type of yogurt and certain, certain type of granola, but hard to get exactly what you want. Um, my stomach doesn't usually, the, Yogurt doesn't usually sit well in my stomach, but I have been eating that <laughs> for months. Um, 
and uh because it's good to get some energy and start of your day especially like protein right um but uh um i like like eggs too as well so maybe i'll put that in eggs are good they give i don't know i find eggs I to be like that for breakfast but you do you, I guess. These are just eggs. I usually have to make breakfast by myself. I'm pretty good at it. But today, you can They're help a good me. source of a lot of First, good things that I don't get in, I feel like, a lot of other places in my Which diet, so. Which should I use? What, what to cook? Um, middle one. I love lavender. Lavender? Now, hmm. do you want to help me make bacon or toast? She, yeah, she's a little, she's just honest, that's all. Bacon or toast? Um, okay, let's make some toast. What do we do first? I like my bacon Toasted, super, super crispy, half, right? So I'm a little iffy on, on bacon it. sometimes. What is that over there? What was that? Come sneaking into what about jelly? I don't think we want to do that first. Uh, what do we toast it? Great, let's toast okay. the bread. I love toast, it's so warm and. Oh, he's ruining everything. Get him out of here! Don't eat the How toaster. Does he keep getting Crazy. In here? <laughs> he almost burned well, he never left the first time, Amanda. I he's been here the whole time. A day of adventuring <laughs> for a big breakfast. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what to eat first. It all looks so good. Oh, what? On her hand. Her hand looks so weird. She just said she doesn't like eggs for breakfast. What is she doing with eggs on her plate? What? What? Where? What happened to the other tape? seem to have a puzzle but what what happened i had another tape and i left it right here let's go hmm what the goal is there um let's see egg apple orange is this supposed to be the arrangement of the things on her plate through all this right there, Amanda. You bet. Yep. Mm. Let's see. What she was supposed to... I don't like that. Yeah, she breakfast. doesn't like whatever. She's just being a contrarian. I love blues. Okay. Now, do you... I should have gone bacon to see what happens, but... Great! Let's... Oh no! Oh no, I rewound too far. <sighs> Not rewound, fast forwarded. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't like that. Yeah, shut up, Amanda. I love. Let's do bacon this time. Yum, bacon! What's taking you so long? What are we doing now? to find a frying pan here amanda thanks now what can i use to cook the bacon the refrigerator the sink or the stove probably the stove great let's make some bacon yay mm, i love bacon it's 
And salty. <laughs> That's what we really love is the saltiness. Hmm. Gotta hit the hit right. Away. How does he keep getting in here? I don't know. He almost ruined my breakfast. Yeah. Time to make the rest of my meal a day of adventuring. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. What are those things? Orange juice. Okay. Bacon, toast. Oh, it's milk. I'm assuming milk is in the white. It's like a glass, I think. So I think it's clear. Apple. Okay. Over here. Uh, I think juice is up here. We'll move the toast. Is we need to. That's in the right spot, at least. Eggs, toast, bacon. So. Move this back here. Move the bacon where it needs to go, at least. No. That's not what I want to do. I want to move this here. Oh, that's the toast. Move this up here. Down here, and this up here. Just checking in. Everything's still pretty quiet out here, but we shouldn't stay too long. Okay. Try to find those dates, okay? Sure. Oh, these are the clothes. Um. That one. Okay, let's. We need to look at the rest of the tape. Up for a big breakfast. Okay. This is a fun little puzzle. Look the pillows over there, and now we have to go over here and see. Okay. Pink skirt. Um, flower, jeans, potato, okay. Got a piece. There we go. That one. Jeans? I guess those are the right jeans. Okay. That was it. What was this thing over here? And what about this thing? Huh, okay. Maybe that's from this tape. Oh, because it has two. It has two because it's like a toaster. Okay. Oops. I don't hmm. They're red. I love red. Now. Okay. Oh, I didn't yeah. want to do that. Can... I wouldn't have felt more annoyed. What's taking you so long? Does I have to go get the frying pan? Oh, it's right here. Go, go. How's he keep getting in here? No one knows. Okay. Where'd my other tape go? Okay. <laughs> I missed. Nice to be and a... I'm Wooly. Hi, Wooly. Huh? <laughs> Hi, I am. No, I don't want you here. Don't you get that? But Amanda, I'm your best friend. My best friend? All you do is get up. Hi. I mean, I'm don't Amanda. best friends do and that? I'm Wooly. <laughs> Today we are Isn't that like on a, very a very typical best project. friend relationship? Oh, I can be very patient. Patience is a very good quality to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Bully deserves better. Amanda. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying You're not being calm, very patient, even Amanda. when something or someone bothers you over and over again. <laughs> 
today we are building a birdhouse so my bird will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Willie. Mm. This is well, like the time of day I have to wake up. <laughs> or something. I'm going to bump into something. You can go back inside if you want. You don't have to be out here with me. No one wants to be up there. What's early? something you have built that took a lot of patience? Um, Why would you waste your time doing that? Thanks, Amanda. I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? Hmm. Hmm. It's Halloween. Let's go with Raven. I like those too. Yay. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? The cutting one. Right. We'll use the saw to cut the wood. A woodpecker. It wouldn't um, fit. Amanda, All you'd end up with is we wood have some key. Kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. <laughs> you have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you oh, Measure twice, work. cut once. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together yeah, hi, with Matt. nails. What tool should we use for that? What are we doing? I heard nails. Are we hammering something? Oh, um, a nail gun, I guess. That's right! We'll use a nail gun to attack the pieces! <laughs> this project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. Hmm. Um. Let's go with blue. Oh, I actually, blue's blue. a bad idea because that's okay, like the color of the now sky. What tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? We probably should have gone red or purple. Paint it with the scissors. Good job. I want to see you try. This is going to be so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far. Get him to go away. Dude, you act like he's my fault. What am I supposed to do? Oh, there we go. I'm getting really sick of that guy. Come on, let's paint this birdhouse. Wow, that Wait, more like the great. nail gun. Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some bird to show up and use the house. Look. Hmm. They're so pretty. Were they always going to be red? So because then I'm splashed. kind of glad I didn't pick red. So I should have probably picked purple peaceful. if they were going to be red. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, he keeps. Yeah, Another he just keeps pulling that. Oops, my bad. He, like, like he's ashamed, hunting. you know, every single Look time. Look at this cat hunting the birds. She uh -huh. is being very patient. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. Should Look, we warn them? It's the circle of life, Wooly. What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and oh, her family have yeah. to eat after all. Yeah. But, I mean, they can probably get food from somewhere. So let's, let's help the birds. They are, to be fair, cats are the invasive, invasive species here, so. I'm sorry, cat. Wow, Willie, great idea to warn the birds. <laughs> Willie just doesn't have patience. And now nobody's using the birdhouse. I think Amanda We're doesn't have patience. Have to sit here all day waiting for them to come back. That's Dude, take a lot they wouldn't be there if the cat was going to eat them anyway. Patience.
Alright, let's put it back over here with all of our other tapes that keep disappearing. Alright, now what? Oh! Hello, sir. Oh, the chairs have the little flower things. Don't test my patience. no evil speak no evil oh see no evils over here okay what what am i supposed to do with them here no evil See no evil, speak no evil. I did them in order. Kensdale's only radio station. Hey, 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 how's everyone hanging in Friendsdale today, huh? This is your local earworm, DJ Brandon Am, coming at you from the KND97 studio. We've got a special treat for you in celebration of President's Day. If you've tuned in earlier, you might know what Interesting that this doesn't have subtitles. That's right. It's Let's the national it nice anthem on Glorious Repeat. Only. On KND ninety seven. No, I I can't get the other tape. Um Is this always here? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh yeah. Please stand. Remove your hats for the national anthem. So little time. I don't understand the monkeys. Should I do the train again? Maybe I'll do the other train. I don't understand this puzzle. Um. Start over from the beginning, that makes sense. Morning, um, or maybe good night. There's no windows in this studio, so it makes no difference to me. We're here celebrating easy solution. Day. Okay, Overnight. do we have to go to all the other places though, or can we just go straight there? That's right, that's my question. That's right, so let's hear all hey, Shockwave, welcome. What happens if we just go through the one? Well, it won't let us in. Okay. But I think, because since it still made a noise, I don't think we have to go through them in order. I think that I want to do this. Oh, 
Um, no. Maybe. That's Paris. Let's work backwards. We know we need this piece here. Hmm. Oh no, we should be fine. No, because we need to go there. Um. Hmm. I don't understand. Maybe we need another piece or something. We don't have it yet. I don't... Um, let's... I mean, I guess it makes the most sense to go to Paris first. Maybe... Yeah. It's London that's the real issue. Because... Can I move them once the train gets going? Hmm. Like, what happens? If I put, if I move that one, well, sorry. Like what if I want to move this? Oh, you can't. Okay, never mind. Um, were the clues in this tape? Maybe. I don't understand these monkeys. And I'm Wooly. Um, what was it? Oh, bird. Um. <laughs> the sounder theme. Um, uh, Robin. I like those too. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. Right. We'll use. Oh, I'm, so... I'm not sure. I'm understanding the. Mon I just don't know the monkeys. What are they? What are they doing? National Anthem. Hmm. You're listening to KMD 97. Bringing you all the pop, rock, country, jazz, and Motown reggae hits from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. No peace. What's up, Radio Gremlins? Is your President's Day not patriotic enough? You've come to the right place. Here on KND 97, we're championing the airwaves with our national anthem from dusk till dusk. You heard me right, soldier. Attention! Wow. Straight national anthem? Yeah. Does this have anything to do with anything? There are different levels of thickness. Does that mean anything? Hear no evil. See no evil. Speak no evil. Right? Isn't the order it goes in or it's see no evil first? The 
then what does that get us? Hmm. Look at the radio. Um. I'm so tired. I don't understand this puzzle. <laughs> uh, those are the numbers in case I forgot. Um. I was like, maybe they match. They don't. Um. What are they missing? You're listening to KFD 97. Bringing you all the pop rock and jazz bangers and reggae hits from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I don't get it. No keys. No quiet. Oh, lavender. Okay, right. now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? I think that would get pretty messy. Okay. Good job! This is going to be... Okay. I don't... I see that looks so much better than the blue one. Actually, you know, you know what? That's a really light color, though. Um, what happens if we pick See that? how she stalks them slowly. She's showing a lot of patience. Oh. Good kitty. What I didn't have to twitch like that. Cat. I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, I'm not sure I understand this. Yeah, Wooly is definitely cooler. What are you guys doing? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Maybe I should try this again. It's not even going to let me have access to this puzzle anymore. It's like, you're done. You're not getting that other slot open. Um... How do we get over it? Like, I, I... Um... Here... Go over here. You're listening around here, up here. Bringing you all the pop, rock, country, jazz, and Motown, reggae hits from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, um, 90s, and 2000s. I feel like you just don't have enough. KFD 97. Can't stay us all day. Radio station. Welcome back to KND 97. This like is we can, I don't, I don't think we have DJ enough. Drand in AN. We're on hour 23 of the national anthem in celebration of President's Day. And honestly, I'm already looking forward to next year. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, a no. Out. Oh, because we still just... Yeah, I don't... I don't know that we have enough. Um, I don't understand these monkeys. I'm getting really frustrated. Like, what am I even supposed to do with them? You just click on them, and they go... Meh, meh. Then I have a lamp that you can turn on and off. That I don't think used to be there. They're just chilling. Well, I need to get a tape. This one's gotta have a tape inside his belly. Give me, give me the tape. Midnight. Um. Uh, I 
feels like all of these had something to do with the tape. I didn't see anything in the tape. Let's rewatch again. I must be missing something. I have to watch all the scenes. And I'm Wooly. We gotta watch and see if if they do something. If there's like an order that I'm supposed to. But then what does the radio have to do with anything? Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Wooly. Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. I'm gonna bump into something. You can go back and... You're, um, you're listening to, uh... Oh, oh, my eyes! Are you oh. trying to blind me? Brandon is stepping away for a moment. <laughs> terrible has happened to him. No, not terrible. It's just that an emergency has come up. And so I'm me. Oh, I get it. I, I get can't it. wait to see what birds come to visit. What? Today is President's Day. And we're listening to the National Anthem all day. We got the whole thing for you. Not just part of it. The whole thing. We got all of it. Is there it. a moment I'm supposed to Your do that? Your favorite kind of bird. Um, bird. I like those too. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? Right. We'll use the saw mm -hmm. to cut the wood. The whole thing, not just part of the whole thing. Uh, yeah. Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. I'm assuming that's not you a clue. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Oh, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together with nails. What tool should we use for that? That's right! I love red. Good okay. job! This is going to be so pretty! Oh, there's the, the radio. Okay, this is where the radio this comes into play. Is going too far. Get him to go away! He's gonna climb onto the radio. No. Okay. Want to do this anymore. Forget it. Come on, Amanda. How about Molly's got to snap one of these days. <laughs> Let's get cleaned up and paint this birdhouse. Wow, that looks great. Now we just need Okay. Well, at least we got this this dude's eye. Might need to start with this off. Ken's tails only. Oh, it is lower station. again. Okay. All right. So then maybe because I don't know that the Hi, I'm Amanda. birds. I like those too. Okay. Right. Well, that's right. Mm -hmm. I love blue. Uh. Job. Okay. Is there what happens if oh maybe I can we'll scare be, him away? We'll be returning to regular programming here on on KD ninety seven. Uh with uh more of this more of the same but for, for president for President's Day. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to turn that up before. Um. Hi, I'm Amanda. 
and I'm Wooly. I'll watch her. Today we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot too. of patience. What if we, I feel like we need to turn light on first. Patience is a very so maybe good we can only do one at a time. I don't know. Hmm. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, Amanda, you're kind of bothering me a bit. Birdhouse, so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project it turned the is going light to off. take a long time. Have a little patience, Wooly. Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. I'm gonna well, bust into something. Ready. You can go back inside if you want. You don't have to be out here with me. What's something you have built that took a lot of patience? Why would you waste your time doing that? I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? Bird. I like those too! Let's get started! The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. I don't know what how to... We use for that? Right! We'll use the saw to cut the wood! I don't know how to get these other monkeys. Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot so of tired. patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Wow, that was hard work. Okay. Now we have to put the pieces together with nails. Mm. What tool should we use for that? That's right! We'll use a nail gun to attack the pieces! What happens if we <laughs> click on him when he's hiding under the table? This project is taking a long time. Well, I guess the same and we thing. have to we do can't everything over here. very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse! I don't know. Love um. lavender. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty! What if I turn it up right now? Like, when can I turn it up? That's what I don't understand. The radio's there this whole time. What the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far! Get him to go away! Hold on, I think I have an idea. Let's watch him. Oh no, I already told him. It's like, ooh, he gets a good spot. Okay. Um, maybe when he's hiding around the table, we turn the radio up, and they'll be like... I'm Amanda. I like those too! Right! We'll use... That's right! Oh, I already missed... We'll use a nail gun to attack the pieces! Oh, no, we Ooh, have, we have... You. Okay. What if we turn up now? Will she turn around and look and see him? This project is taking a long time, and we have to no. do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! I don't understand. Maybe Hear No Evil is not next. Maybe Speak No Evil is. I, love I don't Fred. know where that happens though. Good job! Speaking of evil, where that where would that come into play? And what would I do out here, right? You mean do something. Oh, 
Hmm. I'm here to read those last, but what do we do for speak no evil? Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm too tired. And I'm Wooly. <laughs> Today we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. Patience is a very mm. good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. <sighs> Today, we are building a birdhouse so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark it outside. It feels like it should be after this, well, right? Like, this, this is the... Is going to take a long time. What if I do this one? Do I have to do that to get the next one? I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? I like those too. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? The saw. Right. We'll but... use the saw to cut the wood. Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when the we're using tools? On, though, so we turned it on for the, the tip, time. Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you. Wow, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the people. What do I do with him hiding there? Do I just click on you? Just together with nails. What tool should we use for that? That's right! I don't understand. We'll use a nail gun to attack the pieces. <laughs> this project is taking a long time. What do I do about this guy? I need to do s just the light. This guy has a radio, but what does this guy have? He's got nothing. And I don't we have understand. to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. Mm. Love lavender. I don't... Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty. <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far. I really feel like around okay, here is when we do the radio away. thing, but I feel like we have to do speak no evil first. See how she stalks them slowly. She's showing a lot of patience. Oh, maybe that's. Oh, I was like, maybe that's how we warn the birds with the radio, but the radio is, is in the shot. Lily's BA does a great job showing absolute fear. Yeah, that 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 what screen was good. That was a good one. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. All I can think of is maybe before Wooly when she's oh when she says don't say it, right? Doesn't she say something like that? Okay. Patience is a very good quality to have. I'm trying to be patient, Wooly. I'm trying. 
I'm trying really hard. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. <sighs> Today, we are building a birdhouse, so more birds will come mm -hmm. to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark a long day outside. ahead of you, Wooly. <laughs> well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Wooly. Well, I still think we could use... Oh, my eyes! Are you trying oh. to blind me? Yes. Yes, I am. I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? Birds. I like those, too. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? <laughs> right! We'll use the saw to cut the wood. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Wow, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together with nails. What tool should we use for that? That's right! We'll use I'm ready to pause. To I have my thing down on the pause button in this corner. <laughs> okay. This project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Right. Oh. Come on, you've got this. <laughs> That's right, patient. That's what I just said. Now it's time. Speak no evil, Wooly. I don't understand. For some color. Let's paint the I thought there was house. something around there, but there wasn't. I love red. Okay, now mm. what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty. <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient thing is going to... I thought maybe I could... Four! <sighs> Get him to go away! Right now, is this is maybe get him to go away? Can I turn up the radio? I don't know if I tried this spot before or not, but... No, it didn't work. I don't... I'm getting really sick of that guy. Come on, Wait a minute. This okay, I have an idea. Uh. Try it again with a light, and maybe I can undo his other eye. Like, maybe I have to, like, keep... His eye isn't even in there. Oh, is that what we need? Do we need to find his eye? Okay, a couple options. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we are working on a very special project. Mm -hmm. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. I don't know where we can get an eye for these monkeys. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. 
today we are building a birdhouse so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. I mean, Have the eyes are going to come patience, from the birds, Willie. right? Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. Oh, oh my eyes! Are you trying oh. to blind me? Okay, so there's like a pause here then where... No. It's the most we can do, okay. How much longer is this I game? Can't wait to see what However come long to visit. until I What's beat it. What's your favorite kind of bird? Um, I feel like last week Time to Beat said it was like four hours long, but like now it too. says it's two and a half. Let's get started. The but we've been at this puzzle for a very long the time. Of the wood to the right side. What tool should we use for that? First we get. Right, we'll use the saw to cut the wood. I don't know where we can get an eye. Um, Amanda, shouldn't... Is that what's in here? Do we have to get over here? Can I just... Can I take your eyes? No. Like, they're mostly red with these black dots. What's up, Radio Gremlins? Is your President's Day not patriotic enough? You've come to the right place. Here on KND 97, we're championing the airwave um, with our national anthem from dusk till dusk. I just don't understand this puzzle. Attention. I'm so lost. But I don't want to look up how to do it. If I don't understand. I feel like I've tried so many clever things. I tried to be so clever, but it's not working. Um. I think I might have to look up. I, I, what am I missing? Oh, I'm so mad. I got him, but. I mean, he might just not have an eye, but it feels like I need to, you know, something in there. There's nothing around, unless whatever's in there, but I don't- I just don't think I have enough pieces. Because, to make it, like, economical, we need to go straight to Paris. And then, the problem is if we go around here, like, this would need to be the straight piece. And then... Like, I just, I don't think, I just don't think we have enough. This, this, this one here, then. <laughs> um, and this has to be her. Or wait, no. What if, what if, what if? Hold on. What if we put this one in here? We go over here. Around here, over here, up here. What if... Um... DJ Brandon AM here to tell you that I've completely lost it. I don't even know what we year can go it over is. Here. I do know what day it is. It's President's Day. As is tradition Maybe, here at I don't know because we're still going to run into trouble. We'll national anthem nonstop till the clock strikes. Be something's really simple. Where yeah, probably. I? No, I can only get to this. I don't I don't know that we have the tools. To get us. Because once we. No. We go here first. 
move down here, up here, but then we'd have to make another loop for, I don't know how we get over there. I feel like we need one more piece or something to make that work. I mean, maybe I'm missing a piece too. That could also be it. Maybe, maybe it's a me problem. I mean, it obviously is, but what do I do with you? <sighs> I have to look it up. I think I have to look it up. Otherwise, I'm I don't I have no idea. I've tried everything I can think of. I don't know what it is. I'm stupid. I'm tired. Let me see. Band of the Adven Adventurer Monkeys. Please tell me the monkeys. Um, okay. Um, yeah, pause the tape. See no evil. I got it. Speak no evil. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I should have. That was obvious. Okay. Um. Oh, the. Okay. Okay. Hear no evil is stupid because there's an actual radio in all the other shots. And it's one of the ones where there's no radio in the shot, which kind of annoys me because it's very misleading. But that's fine. Now this other one I should have should have gotten. Okay. All right, I'm still on the tape. Okay. We have some kind of supervision when we're. Um. Yeah. We're that's right. Purple. Love lavender. Okay. Now. Good job. Okay. <laughs> So after they get splattered with paint, they do cover their mouths. I think I've only let him get splattered them once. Oh, right there. Okay. I should have tried that again. To be fair, I, I didn't. I didn't let, see this very often. Come on, Amanda. How about a little patience? <laughs> Let's get. Oh, I think I missed it. By, by, I was impatient. Okay, we're gonna try again. Hi, I'm Amanda. Birds. I like those tips. Saw. Right, we'll use the saw to. Yeah. I clearly need That's some patience. Right. I feel like I've been patient. I've been plenty patient. I'm gonna do red this time. Red. I've been plenty patient. Good I've been job. working at this puzzle for way too long. It doesn't really matter. Since here, I'll scare them away or whatnot. I don't care. No, I forgot. I need to remember. I need to see that whole interaction out. Maybe if scaring him away is probably the best option. Okay. Oh, all right. Use this. That's right. Blue this time. I love. Good job. Okay, I'll scare him away. Okay, okay. Now let's just move on to the birds. Move on to the birds. I'm getting really sick of that guy. Come because on, the radio is still in this, this shot. Wow, that looks See, there's no radio in the now shop, but this is where you do the radio. While we wait for some fur to show up and use the house. Look! They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. Okay, I can kind of see by mentioning quiet, but it's still really misleading to have the radio. You're listening to Katie. 
Marcus. Bringing you all the pop. I have to go back. I guess. Yeah, okay. Oh, right, and then they cover their ears. Okay. Oh, I kind of see now. You had to have something happen in the video for them to do these actions. Okay. DJ Brandon is stepping away for a moment. Something terrible is happening. What creature? What's in here? You okay out there? Hmm. We're listening to the national anthem all day. We got the whole thing for oh. you, not just part of it. The Don't dog dear use a bookmark, but the Let dog is so cute and look right at his now. ears. Oh, okay. That's, that's not a very effective poster, I'm afraid. Another activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat. Um, we'll choose the path this time. We'll have Amanda's way. Okay. Ah! You guys are a little creepy there. Oh, you're covering his eyes, though. Nice of you. Oh, there's the piggy bank. It's all broken. Zero, zero, out of zero. Hi! Hi, Amanda. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we are playing bandits. Come on. Where did you hide the loot? Careful. Whack him with you'll a break shovel? it. <laughs> Lily, you're a pretty boring bandit. <laughs> bandits hide all kinds yeah, of trees in the woods. It's fun to go look for treasure. But you should probably the tree's kind of how I feel right never now. Tell a anyone bit. <laughs> where you're going? They might get to the treasure before you do. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden mm. deep in these woods. Which direction should we go to find the treasure? Um... North? I think you're right! Let's go! Oh, I have a good feeling about this! Where should we dig for the treasure? X. X marks the spot. Yes! Marking matches the one on the map. Let's that too. dig. Oh, great. Here yeah, we, go we go again. Just go along. Seriously, who is that guy? <laughs> I like that reaction. Who is he? <laughs> Dude, it just really wants attention really bad. <laughs> A little help here. Kind of cute. He just wants your attention. He just likes you and wants your attention. That guy's so. gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should get him to come back. It's really sweet though. What? Let's dig. <laughs> okay, bandits. Oh, let's get I... to digging. Amanda. Amanda. I don't have a shovel. Bandits should always come prepared. I guess you'll have to use your hands. Why Whoa. she bullies Wooly? <laughs> No, no, Wooly, come back! We did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once, but not anymore. <sighs> come on, Wooly, let's get out of here. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? I mean, the ground should be pretty there? easy to dig oh. through. You dug down there with your hands. <laughs> you know, popsicle I think, I don't know, I like the little Actually, possum guy. You know what? 
No, I'm not done treasure hunting. I really thought we'd find something special, and you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. Sorry, Amanda. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? No. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Here, this is running out. There you go. Riley! Riley, are you okay? Um... Riley, get out of there! Oh. I don't know. Continue. She didn't like the treasure, unfortunately. Wait, are we starting over? No, right? No. What? Gotta oh, start all the way over again. Fine. Fine. Um, what was it? Five. One. Oh. Three. Oh. That one, okay. All right. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What the oh, what was that? Wait a minute. What is that there for? I don't think it was there the first time. Maybe it, maybe it was, and I just don't remember since the lamp's been there for so long. Yeah, I want to hit her with a shovel. I'm kind of like... Someone. Okay. That sounds like fun. Um, what am I doing? Uh, I think it would still be... Are you sure? We've done that before. Okay, fine. Curtain. Paris? We'll go to Paris! Whatever. Uh, you're no yeah, fun. sure. Um, uh, Mexico City? Our next stop is Mexico City. What's so fun? London. We're going! Out of ten. Oh, this is different now. Do I throw it? No. Can I unplug it though? Plug, plug. No. Okay. Two out of ten. What does that mean? Zero out of ten. Well, this is what that poster used to be. Zero out of ten. Ten, one, two, no, okay. Oh, I have to break it, I think. Someone. That sounds like fun. We'll go to pick. Yeah, go and smash it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Good night, Mr. Piggy. What are you still here for? Oh. 
Okay, the next to city. I next stop it. Go with chicken. And go to London. I'm off. And the tape ends. Do I have to watch the tape out all the way through, or...? I don't like this game. I think it was more fun to watch people play it than play it yourself, because, like, when you get frustrated and stuck, like, you just get frustrated and stuck. Kind of. Um, and there's so much repetition. I don't really like games with repetition. Um, we'll wait. <laughs> yeah, if you could find him. I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have gone. Yeah, okay. The curtains. Paris. We'll go to Paris. Um, don't uh, smash it. Apparently that does nothing. Um. Or maybe I should have smashed it. Maybe I just paused too soon. Our next stop is... What's so fun? We're going to London. Wow, hmm. who the heck was that guy? He was going to take my coins. Good. Oh, four is still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for Maybe the Maybe this game takes to two London. and a half hours if you One, kind of have two, a better idea three, of puzzles or if you hit the puzzles oh, hey, at the right time. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. Like, and you go down the right, the right path of puzzles, right? Oh, hey, Wooly's here. Hi, Amanda. What you doing? I... I was going to go on a trip. Ooh, it's fun to pretend you can go places, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> hey, Amanda, this will be funny. Amanda, Amanda, hey, hey. Oh, are we going to the mountain now? No. Okay. Oh no. Going trip just yet. That's a good song, classic. Um I'm I don't think I like this game. <sighs> There's just too much repetition. And again, it's fine to watch other people play it, but when you're playing it yourself, like, I have no patience for... I know I was supposed to learn patience, but... And I am pretty patient. I just... Uh, feels like wasting a lot of time when you have to do the same thing over and over again, you know? Because you did it wrong the first time. <laughs> Refund time? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not like, you know... And I might play it, like, off stream. Well, on, I probably want to see if... See other people play it, but... Um, I mean, I don't mind. It wasn't that expensive. It's like $9 or something. It's not crazy um, expensive, but the beginning is pretty repetitive. Yeah, I don't... I guess I'm still in the beginning then. I don't know. I... Because it felt like the first few puzzles weren't repetitive, but then it got to that patience one, and it's just like... Ugh. I mean, and that wasn't even repetitive. I was just kind of stupid. But... As the Amanda, no, I'm playing as the Riley. Um, what do I? What do I? 
I don't even know what I'm supposed to. Maybe I'll try breaking. Maybe I just pause too early with the piggy bank. Um, some mm, cake. I wish I could still visit her. I love to daydream about all the places I could have gone. Think about all the places we can go. Curtains. Kidsville. Do we have daycare? This yeah, it's not daycare. It's it's a library. Um, smash it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. We're investigating. Good night, we are Mr. with Piggy. someone, and we are investigating these tapes in here. Why are you still here? A piggy, go away. Smash, do something. What are you even here for? Who are you? Who are you? Pig. Yeah, it's not been fun, Amanda. Well, Amanda, Amanda's not, not super fun, to be honest. Um... I mean, whatever I gotta do is on this tape. Let's count them together. I know, but I'm skipping wow. stuff too, what? and like, Our next right? Stop is I forgot. Oh, uh, sell the you bear. Really think I can get coins for that? Oh. You have really weird taste in toys. Okay, it's fine. What's so funny? Uh, We're going. Okay. <laughs> what if I don't scare him off? Hmm. Okay. Wow, you're I need I fast forwarded through too much, I think. Yeah, I don't what, I... what is up with this piggy? Because this is different than before. It like, makes it feel like I need to collect coins. Oh, wait. Can I click on the coins? In the thing? That sounds okay. like fun. Give me coins. Amanda, give me coins. We'll go to Paris. Uh, Don't smash it. Wait. Our next stop is Mexico City. I needed to see the coins. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. Don't worry about it. He's gone. Um, anyway, that ticket costs three coins. Yeah, give so me your let's coins. take those away from what we have. Okay. One, no, two, uh, three. You can't take them. Oh no, that's all our coins. And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins. How do I put the coins in? Where are the coins? What? I missed it. I thought I could see better. You gotta put him to sleep? Oh, I gotta put him on the X. Okay, thank you, printer, for helping me. I was so lost and confused. Is that- does that always help you on the puzzles? That's really- that's really nice. Yeah. Now what? Which one do you think will get us the most? What's so fun? Yay, okay, okay. This is good. We're going! Good. 
Go away. Wow, who the heck was? Oh, I need to get 10 in the same round. That's fine. That's fine. We got this. We got this. Now I understand. Okay. Got a lock in. That sounds like fun. We'll go to pick. Ah, uh, here. Okay. Um, I see the city. Our next stop is. What's so funny, Miss? We're going. Wow, who the heck was that guy? He was going to take my coins. Good. Oh, Boris. Oh, I need to let him take the coins so that we find a few more in the couch. Okay. I get it, I get it. I'm mathing. That sounds like We'll go to pick Ah, uh, you're no Our next stop What's so funny? We're going Get away. You get away from her. Oh, right. I wanted to let him steal it. Dang it. Okay. Oh, who the heck was oh my gosh. That guy? Okay. I can do better. He I can do better. Take my I can do better. So I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing instead of doing the same thing over and over again. Oh my gosh. Okay. That I'm, just, sounds like I'm so tired. Um, okay. We'll go to pick. Ah, uh, yeah. Our next stop is. Why is the pig not making noises? What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? Oh no. Where go? We got to river because the pig wasn't hooked up. Right. I don't know what happened. Do I need to go slower? Was I going too fast? Oh. That sounds like okay. fun. I love We'll go to Paris for Ah, uh, you're no fun. <sighs> Let's count them together. One. Two, three, four, five. I have five coins. Okay. That's more, more than enough time. for our first. Okay, five coins. Our There's next no... stop is oh, Mexico right, no, City. A ticket okay. to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. Right, we want him to steal. Fine. <laughs> Anyway, that ticket costs three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three! Oh, it does go back down to zero, though. How do I- Oh, oh, I get it, I get oh, it, I get no. it. That's all our... I get it, what I get it now. I get it. I get it. I understand. Now I understand better. That sounds like fun. Okay, four. Okay. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Come on, Piggy. Put you back up for the deposit. Uh, Out of one Piggy no and into fun. another. Let's count.
count them together. One, two, three, four, four five. five. Yeah. I have five coins. Very big haul. Big haul. Okay. That's more than enough for our first stop. Next stop. Our next Mexico stop City. is Mexico City. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. Anyway, that ticket costs three coins. So let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three. Oh no, that's all our coins. And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What mm -hmm. are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? Mr. Mr. Rooster. Let's tell funny Mr. Rooster. Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, mm -hmm. and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make some else laugh. Cake? Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history of... We're going to London! Yay. A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket! I need that coin. Now I have four! That's... Okay. That's enough for our last stop! Oh no, no! Go away! Get this weirdo out of here! <laughs> And then he's gonna take it and then or eat it or whatever it was we did. No, no, no! He ate one of my coins. Hmm, such a shame. Okay. Come on, piggy bank, come back. This game does not make me feel smart. <laughs> hmm. Oh, what? Do I wait? Do I have her break it the next time? Okay. For some reason, I didn't see it come out. Okay. Piggy on. Come on, Piggy. Okay, okay. That sounds like... Okay. We'll go to Paris first! Break it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Good night, Mr. Piggy. Oh no, it reset it. No, darn it. What am I supposed to do? I get my 
Does it have to be exactly 10? Are you not allowed to go over? Is that what happens? Because I went over. So, we get 5. And then, we find 4 in the, no. 1, um. Mm, I don't know. I don't like this game. It's not very fun. I'm not enjoying myself. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Okay. How much longer is this? Hold on. Hold on. I need to check how long this game is going for two hours. Um, I need the, I need like an Amanda the adventurer to walk through there we go um okay. train the clothes yeah that box um um What? This walkthrough isn't even... Did I do the puzzles out of order on the cube? There should have been a tape when you're feeling bad. I didn't get that tape. The cube gave me the other tape. Is it that you do them in a different order? Was that it? Was the fact that I did the... that hmm hmm <sighs> what Is this maybe the second? What? Oh, this is walkthrough part two. That's why I'm confused. Okay. Um, not, yeah, this isn't, this isn't just, it's just, okay. Right, okay, okay. What? Play the tape, good night, where? Yeah, I sold the books. Okay, let's plan a trip. Yeah, okay. Here's the piggy bank. So I had three extras that I shouldn't have had. What what extra coins did I not have? Should I not have had? Okay. Yeah, you're in five coins. It's fine. Missions will require you to earn the five, then let her remove two, leaving with three. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks for the hydrate redeem. 
Okay. That, that's math I could have done. I just didn't feel like doing. But wow. We are still very early in the game, though. We are like... Well, no, because we did some other puzzles that aren't here. Like, they're much farther down. Treasure. Um. Okay, let me see here. Fortunately, you will not be able to get the toy in time. The, to the toy this time. So you can bring any of the toys. Okay, so there was no way to get the right um, right toy. That's good. Walk through part two. Yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, this is the one, hold on, I'm kind of confused, because this walkthrough, this isn't how things happened in my playthrough, because they did the piggy bank, but I did the train, I don't know if that matters or not, are they confused? Okay, well maybe it maybe it's fine to do it this way too. It's probably still ends up the same. Thing. Um Okay, um, it looks like there's a lot left, though. Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, maybe I'll play another time. I don't know what they're saying, two and a half hours. I think it's only two and a half hours, like, if you know the answers to all the puzzles. I think we might have to do another stream out of this, because I don't know how late I want to go tonight. Um, because I'm tired, like I said, I want to work on writing stuff as well. Um, hmm. Maybe... Um, hmm. let me see. Uh, I should save automatically, so I think we can put the title. The last tape. That's fine. I'm literally on the same tape, so. Um, okay. So, I'm really tired. Um, so, this is, this is fine. I'm feeling great. Um, okay, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. Let me scoot back up again. Um, here's the plan. Ah, I mean, oops, sorry. Um, okay. There we go. Actually, no, we can make a little bigger. Okay. Um, okay. So the plan, I think, will be tomorrow we might play Phasmo um, for the full release. And thank you for the Pfizer D. And then we might finish Amanda the Adventurer on Wednesday. That might be the 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 plan, I think. Um because I don't know about the old DOS horror games. Like I said, I I'm kind of kind of fighting so many like trying to get this setup and this setup, like you know, different things than just like the normal setup, and it's I don't wanna fight the um we're already replacing old DOS horror games tomorrow. Even the indie games. We'll see maybe indie games. I don't know. But we might just do Amanda the Adventurer instead. Maybe we'll do other indie games for Halloween. The little ones. I don't know. Um, we'll kind of see. But just no spooky games for the next four, three days after this. Sorry. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We got spooky games coming. And then also on Saturday again. 
Um, and uh, yeah, so um, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, I don't know what spooky games they'll be, but they will be spooky games. Halloween continues to be scuffed. I mean, it's not really that it's scuffed. Like, I can get stuff set up. Like, I can do old DOS horror games tomorrow. And I can do, um, you know, indie games on Wednesday and stuff. Um, I just don't. I just don't want to. I don't want to force myself to, you know, do things that I'm not really in the mood for, you know. And, like, um, I just. and I, Or to, like, like, you know, just bother. Thanks for the hydrate reading um bother to get stuff set up right um if they're going to take like a lot of work or because like i mean you know like i you know i'm at work for most of the day and then i come home and i can wolf down some dinner um and then you know i stream for hours i just i just don't have time i've been streaming so much i literally have no time for anything Amanda's annoying so I'll thank you. Um and I just like like I can try to like like writing because I like, you know, it's what I want to go here and do now is work on some and writing some stuff for, you know, like I said, a little story to put out for Halloween, um, if I can. And like writing I like, right? Like that's like my the thing like I'd like to if I had and I didn't really know this until um I think it was someone on my old account, someone came into my chat and they were talking and they were like, oh, well, is this what you want to do? Like, would you want to be a streamer like full time and stuff? And I'm like, no, I don't think so. Um, but I would, you know, like, like to write full time if possible. And like, um, you know, if streaming helps, you know, potentially buffer that income or um if uh like you know it'll give me a big enough audience for people to want to read my stuff like then you know sure but otherwise you know I'm fine for it just to be like a hobby and things um and like you know and because and, they were like you know what do you want out of life and I was like mm, you know actually yeah if I could like transition to being a writer that'd be that would be ideal if I could do that full-time um and uh or like part time and you know supplemented from some other income stream. I don't know, but uh, you know, but if I if I could, you know, I mean, oh, I guess no writing full time, right? That would be the you know if we're talking about deals, that'd be ideal, right? If I could just do that, um, because that's what I like, right? Um, and it's stressful to do though around like a full schedule, but but I do like it, um, and uh. And then and I remember that stream in particular because I think it was someone who said like and they were asking about streaming advice or whatever because they were thinking about starting. And then at the end, they were like, haha, I've been phase cloak this whole time filming a video. I was tricking you. And I'm like, what are you talking? About? What should you write about? Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, um, nine of wands. So. um. Let's see here. Uh, um, hold on. Okay, yeah, so it's the nine of wands. Oop, I have to undo that stuff. Hold on. Nine of wands. Um, so it is like a cat with these like cattail plant things um and uh so you should write about a cat and nine of wands is like burdens anxiety things like that <laughs> orange cells real yeah um because it's uh it's in the scene that is the lighting scene for the background um but uh but yeah so anxiety or cats <laughs> um yeah a cat with anxiety that works or maybe a cat that relieves anxiety you kind of want to look at it that way perhaps <laughs> um but yeah yeah and i remember because i was like who, what what the weird what a weird prank to like and the thing is the prank that he was trying to pull a cat that causes anxiety Ooh, that too that too that could be it 
that's actually probably the best uh, story starter there. Um, the, the, the probably the best type of conflict for because uh, actually has conflict right, and that's what story is is conflict. Um, so a cat with anxiety is pretty static. A cat that cures anxiety maybe, but a cat that causes anxiety causes problems, and that's what the story has to be about, right? Is the resolution of those problems or those problems, uh, you know, again making making that conflict. A cat that cures anxiety in itself is not conflict. So cat that causes anxiety is the best. Good thinking, good thinking. Um, but uh, but yeah, I remember because it, it was just like like, haha, I tricked you. I'm Faye's cloak, and I'm like, is this prank not someone like? <laughs> it's like this is the stupidest prank ever because he was acting like he had already pranked me by like me talking to him and not knowing he was Faye's cloak the entire time. And then, like, and I'm like, no, the prank is you telling me that you're Faye's cloak. And that's what the prank you're trying to pull is. And he's like, you know, like, I was so weird. It was so weird. Um, And uh, so, yeah, so I was just changing my clothes there. Um, I, I, I had a, it was a nice conversation. I, I don't want asking, he was asking questions and things. I don't know what the what that was about <laughs> it's really weird and it was one of those that, again they catch you at the moment when there's no one else in because if there are other people in your chat um like weirder people tend not to come in because like you know there's other people in chat that'll kind of uh they don't get to be as manipulative with the streamer as they would like because there are other people watching um and everything but if no one's in chat, they can come in and they can say whatever they want and be as weird as they want. And, um, you know, no one else sees, no one else will stop them. And also, again, like they have more power of the streamer when there's no one else around. Um, that's what I've noticed. Um, people get a little, <laughs> you're actually Marcus Latter. <laughs> um, sh sure you are. Sure you are. Anyone else here want to say that they're big, big creator? Um, but, um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, it turns out, turns out my entire chat is just, just major creators, who knew? Um, but, uh, but anyway, um, it was just so random too, like face clunk. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I feel, I feel like the... It was it was like back in like mm, twenty eighteen maybe twenty seventeen so I feel like that was a little bit bigger back then. Um, people cared more about the esports because you had it was the era of like houses right the like L A houses for content creators it was probably at its peak around that time so and I think the like esports houses yeah phase phase did but I mean I think all the, most of the any sort of like content creator house, I feel like is not in anymore. And I feel like that would kind of, I don't know about the esports scene itself, but um, as far as like the reality show style of content creation, um, that the esports houses kind of got grouped up with too. So I feel like, you know, FaZe kind of rose and fell with that, but. Oh, phase's peak was probably 2012. Oh, I don't even don't even know. I didn't even know I knew nothing about esports, I think, at that point. I not it's not something that I follow. I only knew them because they kind of came in a larger sphere sphere of content creators. Um, and you know, internet gossip and stuff like that. I didn't know anything about them before. Um, but uh but yeah, so I don't know. It just felt like a any anyway, but I remember the stream and I was like, oh yeah, and I, I didn't have an answer at the, you know, like I hadn't thought about it before. So, you know, um, shout out to the person who came in and asked, because like it made me kind of think, like, what do I want to do? And I'm like, oh, I mean, I like the job I have, but like if I could do anything, hmm, yeah, that's a good question. Um, and uh and then I was like, oh, well, you know, actually, yeah, I might prefer just to write if I could. Um, yeah, shout out face cloak <laughs> for helping me realize what I would like to do. Um, but and yeah, I mean, I like the job I have now and I like what I do. Um, but uh, you know, I, it's not an ideal for me, I guess. Um, 
but uh you know and i don't regret any choices that i made you know in life like this was the path like i had to take because the opportunities that were available available to me at the time and the resources and all of that step big so to something greater um i mean it's i mean my current job it's is probably one of the top that i can get in my career as far as what i want to do um so it's like and that's one one issue i have is there's no upward um there's nowhere above this to do unless i do like you know i don't do the actual job anymore right unless i like do business or something right you know and i work in the administrative angle of things rather than the actual academic side of things um and uh so yeah so you know this is like pretty much it there's no room for advancement in the job which is unfortunate you just kind of sit there and get your you know three percent raise every year and that's about it um switch does not equal inflation levels um and they kind of try to gaslight you about that and everything and but anyway uh that's you know and it, but it's a good job like i said you know it's kind of the top is of what i want to do but um you know it's like but is it what i want to do could i do something else um so it's not necessarily like something greater just something different i guess you know um but uh but yeah so um mm, but yeah so like writing like i really do enjoy and i wish i had more time to and like mental energy to fully um commit to that but that's why i like streaming too like if i could do writing and streaming it'd be really good because um if I just have writing, then it's really, really hard for me to um, focus enough if I don't have enough other things going on, right? I need a little bit of um, work to do, but currently with streaming and work all day, I really don't have much um, much extra time uh, for, for writing and stuff, but I'm also not focused enough for writing. Just work isn't enough to keep I don't know, because just work is too, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like you got to balance your schedule out, you know, exactly. Well, I guess work, mm, mm, yeah, just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do work better with streaming. It kind of like, like scratches an itch, itch or something that like I need to do um, for like create creativity wise, I think. Um, but uh, just work really doesn't help with any in the writing part. I mean, it does help with paying you know my rent and things but um but yeah uh also it's like one of those things with a job where you get it and then you kind of are disillusioned by it because you know it's not as nice paying rent kind of sick yeah yeah I do enjoy that I do enjoy that it's coming up in a few days <laughs> but activity um but uh but um but yeah kind of you know it, it's one of those things where like the job is nice but then the reality of the just the you know stuff that you have to deal with at work and like you know employer employers being a little bit you know kind of on the manipulative side coworkers sometimes being difficult to work with you know like that sort of stuff um is like the job is great and ideal but once you're actually put in a particular job scenario it's not so great and th but the job i have now is compared to others it is still very good but that's kind of what's so heartbreaking about it is that it is very good but it's still still I don't like I I don't like bosses who make bad decisions I don't like bosses who do take advantage of their employees or are manipulative and it seems like any job is like that um and so that's why like being a writer would be nice because you it, to a large extent are kind of you don't have a boss so I'll start with Zach's pieces and everyone smoked weed into that. He has most bosses. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing is, um, you know, the job sounds nice, but then once you get put in the actual job, it's like, oh, jobs kind of suck. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so that's kind of like my my thing. So I, you know, I don't know. It's I'd like to switch to writing if if I could, if I could. Um, but uh, you know, gotta gotta work on that. Gotta work on that. But um, but yeah, so. Um, I don't even know where I was going with this. Uh, but that's why I want to get a little bit of writing done here tonight and kind of just get in the practice of writing. That's something I'm going to work on. I'll talk more about that later this week, actually. Um, I guess I could kind of hint it now. Might as well. I'll say it maybe for the next few days. Um, Peter Principle hits hard. Yeah. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, I'm going to... Um, so it's not like a really big exciting thing. It's not really that interesting for stream either, but it's just kind of to follow along. So before I always used to do NaNoWriMo during the month of November, right? National Novel Writing Month. Um, I did that since uh, um, 2010, maybe. So I've been doing it for a very, very, very long time. Um, and uh, the... Um, and I, I was successful for a few years, but it's because, like, I guess my workload was lighter or something. I was able to do it. I don't know. Um, but uh, and then I couldn't for a while. And it, NaNoWriMo just wasn't the same anymore. Like, they started... Mm, I forget what it was. I think I got busy with stuff and wasn't as involved. And then they changed the website more and more to where it became less user-friendly. Like, it came... it. Um, like you would go on and they'd have fun, you know, like little things. Here's like little pep talks. Here's little activities. Here's little sponsorships, you know, like here's little, you know, deals that you can get. Here's the forums, you know, and and they really like advertise that stuff. Cute little graphics, you know, click on it here. Like even just the whole setup of the like user design of the web page was very user friendly, trying to make it a comforting, exciting, you know, energizing place um, and uh, to visit and keep track of your writing. Right. And National, if anyone doesn't know, National Novel, Write Novel Writing Month is where you write 50,000 words in the month of November and um, 50,000 words of a novel. And so it's kind of specific, but, you know, you could do other things. You know, there are some people who, you know, were like, yeah, I'll write along anyway, but I'm not going to write a novel. And that's fine. That was like, you know, the kind of like little rule breakers. Um, but uh, and then you submit your novel at the end and um, 50,000 words is so many. It's not even a full novel, but I mean, it's, it's what you need to be called a novel. But most novels are longer. Uh, most like uh, first published young adult novels, like debut young adult novels, are at least sixty five thousand words ish. Um, most like mystery novels and horror novels are like in the seventy to eighty thousand range, and most fantasy is ninety thousand up. Um, and you can push for more, but those are like what you'd want to hit for like a debut novel. Uh, so fifty thousand isn't really that many, but like I did it a few years, and then like you put your novel in. And they like check, you know, the word count, you know, copy paste the whole thing in there and they check the word count. And then if you win, you get like a little certificate and like, um, you know, banner images for your profiles and stuff, which you can get for being a participant originally. And then when you win, you get all that other stuff. And then um, and you get like discounts from writing softwares and, you know, other things like that, which is always really cool. Um, Chris Beatty was the one who started NaNoWriMo originally with, was with his friends like in 2006, something like that, I think. Um, and then, uh, you know, he made the website and more and more people got involved over the years and stuff. And he wrote a book, No um, no Plot, No Problem, uh, which kind of was the idea that you just kind of keep writing, get the words down. You can edit later, silence your inner critic, all that type of stuff, right? Um, which is good for drafting novels is just get it down. And and the NaNoWriMo was really great. Like it had really great forums with lots of cool things and everyone involved. And then you had Twitter, you had NaNoWriMo word sprints. Um, and then NaNoWriMo Twitter account, of course, but the word spins were great because they would run them around the clock and different, you know, people from all sorts of different time zones taking over a couple hour shifts. They'd write, they'd have fun little themes and, you know, they would then, you know, have a word sprint and everyone, you know, ready, set, go. And then we'll start at, you know, 840 and then we'll write until nine o'clock. And then you write for 20 minutes to see how much you can get. And then you reply with how many words you wrote. I wrote 200 words. And then you take a little 10 minute break and then you come back for maybe like, a 15 minute sprint right and and like that was always really fun and you had your daily goals and the, the little charts and it was it was you know it was really good and it was just a great little like community and everything and um and like NaNoWriMo kickoff was really great because you'd wait on Halloween night for like it turned November 1st and then you at midnight you'd like get the writing done right and that was so cool um and then like I said I got kind of busy with other stuff um and I had a couple years where I didn't quite make it and then that kind of bummed me out and I was like, oh, I'm going to try. And then I didn't. And um, but then, like I said, as it was happening, part of the issue was also the website was changing. The experience was changing. The word sprints slowly weren't all around the clock anymore. Um, they um, like, I don't know. It, it was just everything kind of kind of fell apart. Um, Chris Beatty left after, you know, around the time just just before things started turning south. Um, and the thing is, they also fundraise a lot for the Young Writers Program. And over time, it kind of looked like the website kept being more and more like a fundraising page for the Young Adult Program um, or the, the Young Writers Program. 
and um, that, you know, funds writing resources in schools for these little kids to do like write 10,000 words or something like that in a month and um, kind of write their own little books. And that's cute and all, but again, it kind of ruined the user experience. We lost the cute little graphics for, you know, adult writers and um, people doing, you know, the full challenge and you didn't have little, you know, it just became less user-friendly, very um, clinical looking, right? And um, very kind of efficient business-wise. And it's like, that's not what we want. We want something friendly and welcoming and, you know... And and I kind of ruined it because it's like, I don't know. I don't, yeah, this looks like, you know, very corporate. Great. But like, that's not what we want. Um, and, uh, it was really, yeah, I mean, it's not quite, you know, it's dystopian, but, um, but it was really disappointing, you know, and, and, but everyone else was like, yeah, but it's so great. Look at all the money they're raising for the Young Rich program. But then um, a lot of drama came out in recent years. Like I already was kind of backing. I'm like, I don't like it. It's not the way it used to be. I miss the old NaNoWriMo. But then in the past couple years, they've had some issues. They had um, some problems with the NaNoWriMo forums for the Young Writers program. Uh, there was a um, uh, man on there who was grooming some kids. And I don't think NaNoWriMo fired him, something like that. They were like, oh, no, that's unfortunate. Well, don't worry. We took him off of being a moderator for those forums. But the problem is they didn't, people had said something and uh, they didn't act on it. They were like, they didn't even look into it until, uh, you know, things got worse. And then they were like, oh, well, we removed him, but they didn't actually fire him. Something like that. I don't know. It was, you know, and it was really weird that they were so cool with letting, you know, a groomer interact with the children. And um, there was also, you know, like weird questionable moderation then of the forums and especially as a moderator of the forums, like a great grooming opportunity. Um, it was really, yeah, really bad. And then everyone really turned on NaNoWriMo and they were like, absolutely not, no way. And now I think there's some question about um, their, if you plug in your novel at the end of the month, right, for it to tally up your words, I think they're using it to train AI. So it's like, it's a disaster. But apparently, I think most of NaNoWriMo staff quit a while back. And there's like just one guy left, pretty much. I'm not sure, though, how true that is or if they rehired people. But apparently, I, I haven't even been able to follow all the drama. And again, I don't really care because I kind of gave up on liking them a long time ago, regardless. Um but yeah, so it's a lot of drama. So anyway, I still really like Last Bastion of Hope. Yeah, it's, 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 it's this guy and, and this guy who's there, you know, it's kind of like an Elon Musk situation, right? Like everyone leaves Twitter <laughs> and, and Elon's still there. Um, It's kind of like what the NaNoWriMo thing is, right? You have this one guy working there. As far as I last I heard people, the rumors were there was one guy working there and uh, he's the problem, <laughs> basically. Um, and, uh, a lot of people then were, when people were like, oh, well, let's not do NaNoWriMo anymore. And they were like, what's NaNoWriMo? There's a whole like nonprofit for it. What do you mean? What's that? I just thought it was something the people on the internet did. I didn't realize it was an org. They made an organization for it. And it's like, guys, no, the organization came first. Chris Beatty started it and made the organization. <laughs> so that was a little, it's a little frustrating. The organization came first. The website came first. It wasn't just a random online. People were like, I thought that came from, from from writing talk it's not a tiktok thing guys this far predates tiktok this predates twitter for crying out loud <laughs> um but uh it's like this is from uh from facebook slash you youtube era i think i'm pretty sure um and uh i like the, the creation of those sites it's around when <laughs> this became a website in an organization so um you know a lot of people were like man lame for people to even be doing it with the organization anyway that's stupid because we've been doing it our, on our own this whole time it's like no you haven't so that kind of bothered me just a little, little hipster moment but anyway but i still really like the experience of writing in november and stuff so i'm just gonna do um not NaNoWriMo and I know there are other new writing challenges people have started you know and they're like wow we have so many people here you know they have their little 100 person community and they're really excited to see it grow into the hundreds of thousands of people that NaNoWriMo had but you know um I 
they're just you know they're kind of just all the little copies of NaNoWriMo really and um they don't even do a good job at it because they don't have the resources behind it to build a website and the infrastructure the same way but um so you know so I'm not going to be doing any of those and especially because some of them were like in October so I, I just I want to write a novel in November <laughs> and I want to post about it on socials like Twitter and, and Blue Sky maybe I don't know um and uh and and you know um and for me like probably like I said I'll probably hang around in my discord a lot um if anyone wants to come by and chat and stuff um and uh and I will just you know be working on working on my stuff um 80k words in a month of a specific genre and I pick the winner subjectively <laughs> I mean that could be <laughs> short yeah write write a bunch and then I just I just pick the winner whichever story I like best um but uh I mean I could do like a little a little challenge like a thousand words oh that actually be really cute actually um we'll see we'll see maybe I could actually that's a good idea um, but I was just going to hang around and be like, hey guys, I'm doing not NaNoWriMo. And that's what you call it, not NaNoWriMo, right? Because you need to draw attention to how sucky NaNoWriMo is, <laughs> right? It kind of sucks. And so that's why you have to, um, have to make sure you're kind of being an anti about it, right? <laughs> um, so yeah. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and so on the days that I'm not streaming in November, right? So my streaming days, because we might have forgotten since I've been streaming so often, <laughs> my normal streaming days are five to nine ish on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and then um, Saturdays from five until late. Who knows? Who knows how long? However long I can go. Um, and uh, the days I'm not streaming, so like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, those days I'll probably be working a lot on writing and I'll just kind of be hanging around on my socials, um, kind of like I used to do back in the old days, have Twitter up, have blue sky up, um, keep refreshing those constantly as I write, um, and also have my discord up and I made a little room on the discord. I haven't updated the link on Twitch. I'll do that after the stream here right now, actually, but I have updated, I have posted the link on my, uh, on Twitter and blue sky. And, um, so that should be active. I set it to not expire, but uh, we'll check in next week and see if that's the case. Um, but I have a little room on my Discord. Um, is Blue Sky linked anywhere? Uh, it's on my, it's, it's Celestine Steel. It's the same thing. Um, it's, it's on my Twitter. I haven't linked it anywhere else yet, though, I don't think. Um, and it's on my Twitter, as in I tweeted a screenshot of it. Um, but that's about it. Um, let's see, uh, let me check the Discord here, um, Discord, yeah, here we go, um, yeah, so here is, um, if I can put the link in chat here, if I can find, invite people, copy, um, See, I opened it up again and it says set this link to never expire. Does it generate a new link every single? No, it doesn't. I don't know why. Anyway, um, let's see. There's an ad incoming soon. Great. I think that might be a different one. I might have then just ruined my link. I posted on Twitter and Blue Sky. Hold on. Anyway, here's a link in chat. Um, and then uh, let me check if the Twitter link still works. Because that might be the issue. It might be every time I... Oops, this is what I want. Every time I try to get... Maybe it just regenerates a link. I'm not super familiar with Discord. Oh, no. I think it's the same... Yeah, it's the same link. Mm, no, it's a different link, but it still works. Anyway, I don't know how long that link will work for, but there you go. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I have a lot of different channels and everything. And then I have the Cafe Vibes Hangout. And that's kind of like, yeah, a little, little hangout where you can hang out and do work and chat. Um, and so that's where like I'll kind of be hanging out. Um and uh just, you know, just to have it up. As well as um, Twitter and Blue Sky will probably up, be up as well. Um, 
just to, you know, just to kind of chill um, and have, you know, socials up while I, while I work and while I write because you need the distractions, right? So, um, so yeah, so anyway, so that's what I'll be doing for a lot of November. Um, and it's not really that exciting, but um, potentially because my novel is uh, lore based. So I was like, I'll just write my novel and my lore into a novel. So um, yeah, there's a bunch of channels. I like things organized. So, you know, most of them aren't, you know, but there are all sorts of different topics if you want to talk about different things. They're, they're different, different things. Um, and then two voice channels, general movie night. I don't know. I thought I would do a movie night thing maybe at some point, but that sounds really hard to arrange. So like, no, <laughs> maybe in future, maybe one day, but that's not anywhere in the near future. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Um, you can kind of, just in case, you know, you got to have the things, the stuff. <laughs> so, um, you know, all the different topics, but uh but yeah, so no one really uses any but the memes and puns and jokes. <laughs> but uh, Christmas movie night. Oh, no, that'll be that'll be my subathon. So I don't know if I want to deal with I make I'm making sure the subathon starts Christmas Day and I'm making sure that it is easy stuff. Um, and games that I can play for prolonged periods of time. And I'll try to have other, you know, like it's a subathon, so they're like rewards and stuff, but I'll probably just be gaming. And it'll probably be games like at least Medieval Dynasty, maybe The Sims, um, pull up the Ultimate Decades Challenge. Uh, Stardew Valley kind of tires me out, so I don't know if I'll be playing Stardew Valley, but I could. Um, and then uh, there's some other game that I thought, I've, I've been writing it down, so I have it somewhere. But um, I know like Medieval Dynasty is the game that I can play a lot <laughs> without getting tired. It's definitely the like easiest easiest game for me to stream. Um, I don't know if it's that interesting, but, but it's definitely easy on, uh, energy, energy wise. So I'll probably play that a lot and, you know, other games that are easy, uh, along with, I don't know, maybe, you know, scattering some others through and I don't know, haven't, haven't worked out the details yet. That's like two months away, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but a movie night would be a little bit hard, especially if it's on discord. Cause you know, I'd be streaming anyway. So. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing in November, um, is, uh, writing stuff and writing a lore based novel. Um, well, and then, uh, I do want to, I, I want to give it a shot though, to see, cause um, I don't know how many VTubers, oh, thanks for the hydrate redeem. Mm. I don't know how many VTubers have, um, are writers and have, um, written novels. So I'm interested to see like what happens if you pitch a novel and say, this is my VTubers lore, you know, and if you can be like, look, I have this many because, you know, like your social media numbers count when you're um, uh, querying an agent, right? They want to see, um, you know, what your uh, what your social reach is. And um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, I don't know how to work the tracking for that. It's hard to, so it just happens. It's, it's what we deal with, um, along as my lore. Well, the thing is, it's it's not necessarily lore, like, right, it's just about a character. So I can, like, write stuff in character, right? Like, the lore I have written is pretty short. It's, like, three minutes of narration. But, um, you know, I can expand that. You can have, like, different, you know, like, it's just telling a story. So, um, you know, you can make more things happen with the character. Uh, and so I, you know, be really cool. I don't know when, I mean, if I did like a first draft in November, it would then take at least a few months to edit a second draft, maybe a couple more for a third draft. And then I'd feel comfortable querying. Um, but you know, I just, I'm just kind of interested to see if, cause so I don't know how, what my following will be, you know, by like April or May or anything like that. I don't know if I'd have enough to impress an agent i don't know how much like um publishing agents what numbers they're really looking for these days to be honest um but you know we'll see um and uh i think it'd be interesting if you just roll up and be like this is my vtubers lore <laughs> what is this how what is how does this play into the traditional publishing industry because i don't know if we've had if there've been vtuber novels you know um I don't know. 
because VTubing's still very new. And it feels like there are a lot of people in the space, but not a lot, not, you know, there's still plenty of room for, you know, it branching out into other spaces, right? So, you know, I don't know. I kind of want to see where that goes. Um, so a, a lore video would definitely probably happen before the lore novel. Because again, like I said, I want to do pursue traditional publishing first if I can. Um, but probably have, but it's strictly self-published. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like, you know, and that, you know, is like like an agent wouldn't really pay attention to that. But what happens if you approach an agent um, and you're querying like as a VTuber persona, right? Like, I think that's, I don't know what they, what that will get you, <laughs> right? I don't know, because VTubers have only recently in the past, I mean, I guess VTubers are only a few years old in general, um, but, you know, um, a lot of the indies are represented by um, entertainment agencies. So, you know, but but not a whole lot. Um, some are, but awkward agent. Yeah. I don't think that would be awkward. Um, that wouldn't be awkward at all. Like you want a good relationship with with your agent. Um, that's always really important, actually. Um, and because uh, that's like your connection, right? Like writers don't actually deal with the editors or publishers so much themselves. They mostly go through. They kind of go with directly to the editor at whatever publishing house picks up the book to a certain extent, but pretty much everything still goes through the agent. And the agent hopefully is with you for the whole career. So you feel like it'd be weird. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I, I don't think it would. Cause then like, I don't know. I, I, I think, I think that would be fun. Um, cause you could, cause I guess, cause writers will off, will sometimes at different points in their career switch agents, right? Like if an, if their agent retires or, um, you know, if they, if the agent feels they can't get them the right deals or whatever. And so they might leave their agent or, you know, part ways for whatever reason. And um, they might get a new agent. Maybe that new agent actually is a fan of their work, right? Like imagine like if Stephen King were to get a new agent, right? Um, like hopefully whoever his new agent is, you know, like if, if they're an agent that can sell horror, they should be a Stephen King fan, right? So, um, that would, you know, I, f I feel like that happens a fair amount. So, but anyway, but, um, but yeah, so since I'm writing lore stuff, you know, kind of hanging around, maybe I'll like drop little bits of stuff as, you know, as I'm writing and working on things, um, or talk about stuff. Of course, it would all still be like work in progress, right? So nothing is really final, but, uh, you know, uh, it's just kind of something potentially fun. I don't know, more fun for me, less fun for everyone else, but I still wanted to share anyway <laughs> and kind of invite everyone to kind of hang out um, for the fun experience that I will be having, <laughs> guess. Um, but uh, but yeah, so anyway, so that's what's coming up um, for November once we get through spooky season. Friday's going to be, I will probably be hanging out writing all um, uh, all Friday evening. Um, working on writing stuff and just chilling uh because it's the first day of november so you want to get a lot a lot of words in so first message in the server yay um good job um yeah and I, I don't know how like i'm not i don't know if i'll be really great at checking the server much or not like i said i'm not a big discord person um i'm just having like you know this one channel open that i'm really just kind of just kind of sit in for the most part is what I have so far. The other channels are there. I'll pop in and read them, you know, on occasion. But this is mostly just, again, I'll, I'll, I'll be on Twitter and Blue Sky too, but I kind of, I miss the NaNoWriMo community, <laughs> the writing thing. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to just replicate that with my own little community instead. Um, we're, yeah. So, and again, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm starting my own writing challenge. I'm really not. But, you know, like I'm personally starting my own personal writing challenge. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know, we'll kind of see, I'll talk about it. And again, it can be, so anyone else can do whatever they want for November, I guess that's not NaNoWriMo. <laughs> what not NaNoWriMo activity are you going to do <laughs> is I guess the question. Um, but, uh, cause no one's definitely doing NaNoWriMo anymore, <laughs> uh, except for people who apparently don't know about all the bad stuff. <laughs> 
apparently, I guess. I think maybe some people you write a haiku. I mean, it can be anything, you know, you can do art projects or so it's not going to be a writing thing, right? Because, you know, you can, uh, you can like learn an instrument and that's also not NaNoWriMo or, or you can like be a video game you've been trying to play. And that's also not NaNoWriMo. There are a lot of things that are not, <laughs> not NaNoWriMo, right? You can make new friends and that's not NaNoWriMo, whatever, <laughs> whatever your heart desires, um, really, as long as it's not NaNoWriMo. <laughs> um. So yeah, so um, yeah, that's the plan. That's what's coming up, um, and uh, which isn't much of a plan, <laughs> but just so you know, I just so I can say it. And then yeah, so I'm trying to publish. It. You're gonna be Dark Souls too. That will block me for November. <laughs> Good luck. Um, but uh, but yeah. Um, and so right now I'm trying to maybe try to work on a short little story, not lore based, uh, for um Halloween and as kind of like a little introduction to the like yeah the plan is an outline exactly um and uh so Halloween I'll try to release a little story it won't be heavily edited or anything so like you know just kind of deal <laughs> with with it um but uh you know just a just a little thing a little treat but also as like a little transition to like um you know I'll be writing a lot in November. And so, you know, you can read a little bit of writing, I guess. And it's not lore based or anything because I had another idea. It is VTuber based though. Um, so uh yeah. And and like if I have a time, which I probably won't, but maybe over the weekend I'll record a video and, and like narrate it or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's all for today, because I have I wanna get working on that and stuff. Um but yeah, so um okay stream mandy the adventure is okay it's just the repetition gets a little frustrating um and uh like you know because like they're like i knew the puzzle i was like oh i have to get exactly 10 don't i and in a normal game i wouldn't have looked up anything you know i'd be like oh okay let's try this now but i had been let's try this now with so many different things um already that like it just gets so it wears you down that repetition really is exhausting because you have to go through so many steps in order to try something new and that's like and and it already takes you a little while to figure out what the puzzle even is about and how to play the puzzle and then you have to solve the puzzle and it takes a lot of different steps yeah yeah let's try this then two hours later let's try this it's just it's just the trying things is a is a high stakes activity right but it, but you don't have a good reason for a lot of the things you try. You have like a hunch. You're like, mm, maybe it's this, um, you know, and, and when you, you know, try the hunch, it's like, mm, do I want to invest all that effort to try out this hunch? You know, I, that's like, like if, if I put 13 out of 10 in the piggy bank and if when it went over, it like turned red and made like a beeping noise burp, burp, or something, right? Then I would have known, oh, I made a mistake. I went too high, right? Um, but it didn't tell me that, you know? I just kind of had to assume, oh, maybe it doesn't need 10. Maybe it needs exactly 10. Do more tips like Mr. Carson. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Carson was great with those with those tips, always helping out. <laughs> um, yeah, Amanda, we can't, we can't expect much from Amanda, to be honest. <laughs> Definitely not um but uh but yeah but that printer gave us some tips <laughs> the copying the printer machine copier machine i don't know if, i don't think it's a copier i think it's just a printer look like but anyway but yeah anyway that's it for the stream because i gotta go um but uh thank you everyone for hanging out following and chatting and lurking or if you watch the vod thank you for the vod um yeah she definitely beats up on wooly an awful lot poor wooly um but uh but yeah thanks everyone for hanging out and um i'll be back tomorrow probably playing playing phasmophobia but you know not sure some some horror game though some spooky game of some sort <laughs> is the plan for tomorrow something i have no idea what but something um and uh yeah um and of course as always you know i'm around on my other socials as well twitter blue sky tiktok youtube instagram but i'm not really i never really post on instagram but you know i have it um, and then, of course, Discord, which I linked in chat. Um, and uh, I'll update the Discord link on Twitch here, at least, and try to post my Blue Sky other places a little bit more obviously, too, I think. 
uh maybe here on twitch i know you're gonna have trouble posting blue skies on uh on twitter i don't know mm, i don't know what happens if you put it in your in your bio or anything i don't know um but uh but yeah so anyway um i'm gonna go and uh yeah thanks for hanging out everyone uh see you tomorrow hopefully goodbye goodbye goodbye